Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Wahoo in the boat, baby! I mean, you talk about epic fishing days. Yeah! Nice bulldog right there. planer and brighter. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, not as an angler, just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. So what a quick release planer and bridle system does is it allows you to have what's called a wind on leader. So you're fighting your fish, when you get up to your planer, you simply remove it from the bridle and you keep winding up your leader all the way until the fish is retrieved to the boat. All right, so the first thing what I want to talk about is making a quick release planer. So when you're making your bridle and your quick release planer, it's a system and you've kind of got to logistically plan it out. You're going to want to make your bridle as big as your biggest planer set. We'll get into that in a minute. First, let me show you how to make a quick release plan. This is the easiest way to do it. What you're going to need is double sided barrel swivels with coast locks. So you can buy these from your local bait shop. And when I say local bait shop, I'm not talking a large chain like Bass Pro or Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm talking your local bait shop. Like down here for me, it's True Value or Ray's Offshore Tackle. You walk in, you ask them for a double-sided swivel and they automatically know you're talking about making a quick release plan. They've already cut off the coast lock part on the bottom of this, so it will automatically lock on there for you. So to make a quick release planer, you need two of them. Your first one will hook onto your plate and you close it. And your second one will hook onto your ring. And you just close it, and there you now have a quick release planer. The idea is, is your bridle will be here, the fish hits it, trips the planer, you come up, reel it. When you get this to the boat, you remove it, and you keep winding on as if you're seamlessly fishing all the way up to the end of your leader. So now the issue is, is let's say I want to use a planer that's smaller than this. Like I want to use a size 3 planer. So what's going to happen is since the bridle is going to be the length of our quick release planer stretched all the way out, fully tripped, we need to somehow make the swivels the same length. So I'll attach a quick release swivel up to the plate and then I'll put one on the ring. So now we've got both of our quick release swivels on, but we got a problem. We got a length issue. Our bridle won't be fully extended by about an inch and a half. For the smaller planer. So what we have to do is we have to somehow get creative and come up with an idea to extend this. I got a little creative and what I did to make my lengths of my two planers about matches, I simply cut off the barrel of a 300 pound snap swivel and I'm going to add that onto the plate end, not to the ring end because this is where all your pressure is there's less pressure on your plate because that's not the piece that's being dragged through the water. So I'm making more connections and joints from the place that has least resistance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add on just the bottom piece, the clip of the snap swivel. And there's going to be my extra length right there. Then I will put that onto my double-sided quick release swivel. And there we go, that's what we have. So now I control a size three on the same bridle as I would on a size six. If I hold the two swivels at the end here, we now have the bottoms of them are the same length. So we have a smaller planer that is now the same size as a larger planer and they can work with the same bridle. That's why I say when you're creating this, you want to make your bridle as long as your biggest planer setup. All right, so typically when you make a quick release planer with a wind on leader and it's running on a bridle system, it's done with objects like this, which are called 
heavy swivels. Looks like that on both sides. And what it's designed to do is to go through your guide seamlessly. And then you'll have a piece of hardware like this, which is a double-sided tuna swivel, 300 pound tuna swivel. One of the ends has been cut and it slips in seamlessly through your heavy swivel and then it releases it. That's the trick of it being a quick release plant. So the issue with heavy swivels, also known as wind-on swivels, is sometimes they don't fit through your guides. This heavy swivel that I have right here is a 380 pound heavy swivel. This is my planer trolling rod. It's a 30 to 50 pound class rod. Here's the issue with the 380 swivel is if I go to do it, it doesn't fit through my top guide. It just won't go, nor would it fit through any of the successive guides. So I can't use a 380 pound one. Now, the smallest one I would be able to use is a 240 pound inline swivel, because that's what would work with my double-sided swivels to have it so that it hooks on, and I've got just enough wiggle room to tie a knot in it. So this is good. This one will go through my top guide. See, it goes all the way through the top guide. That's good. Now, it will go through with some work, it'll go through my second guide. So that's not really, that's not really ideal. You want it to flow seamlessly. Now when we get to my third guide, it, it doesn't go at all. So even the smaller of the two, which is the smallest one that will work with my double-sided swivels that'll be on my quick release planer, won't work for my particular rock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a bridle that does not require these inline heavy swivels. So we're gonna need a few things to make a bridle. Now the bridle system that I made, remember I'm showing you how to make an easy one. Typically, if you used your wine on swivels, you would use 200 pound braid to make your bridle. But I'm not, I'm gonna show you a quicker, easier way to make it. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use 150 pound monofilament leader. And then we're gonna use crimps to crimp the ends of our leader. That way it's quick, it's simple, it's done. Next thing we're gonna need is a knife to cut the braid, which will be on our main line of our rib. Then we're gonna need a little cutting tool to cut our monofilament leader and our bridle line. We are also going to need a crimp tool. We are going to need our planter trolling rod with our reel and our main line. This main line is 80 pound braid. And now the last couple of things that we're gonna to need to set up our wine on planter is 100 feet of your desired thickness pound test of liter. Mine happens to be 60 pound test. We'll need a number seven snap swivel for the end of our liter if we want to make it so that we can switch out lures. And then we're gonna need some crimps for our 60 pound test liter to crimp on to our bridle and to crimp on the end of with our snap swivel. All right, so let's get into making this. All right, so we're gonna start off with our quick release planer. What we need to do is we need to extend it fully. We're going to take our 150 pound leader. Now what we wanna look for when we get our leaders, we don't need an overabundance of it. We need enough to stick out on both ends so that we can make a loop. Five to 10 extra inches of it. You don't wanna waste it. Leader is expensive. We're gonna clip that off. You're going to need a total of four crimps. One, two, three, and four. Very important because we're going to double crimp each end of our bridle. We're going to take and we're going to put two crimps on one end of it. Put one crimp, put two crimps, all right? We're going to leave the second one off to the side. We're going to form a loop on our first crimp. and we're going to pull it and we're going to leave enough space in there so that we can crimp our second crimp onto it, which is going to be very important. This loop right now is currently too big. We want to make it smaller, but we don't want to make it so small because remember, we've got to get our quick release planer in and out of here and we're going to tie a knot onto it with our fishing uh, main line from our reel. So you want to make it about like that. It's about a quarter inch. You've got enough play in your loop that you can tie on your knot and you can seamlessly get your quick release planer hooked in and out. We're going to find a notch that will 
properly crimp our crimp tight so that we don't compromise it. We will put our crimp right in the middle of the notch and we are going to tighten it shut. Our second crimp right here we'll feed it onto the little tag end and this is how we're going to double crimp this connection right here and just tighten that up there like that now it is double crimped okay so now that we have this piece made now it's time to make the other end of our bridle so what we'll do is we're going to slip on two more crimps onto the open end there's one there's two and what we're going to do is we're going to find out how how much length we need we're going to space it out properly so we're going to hook one end of the quick release planer into it and we're going to stretch it out so that our planer is tripped in the tripped mode and we're going to pinch at both ends and that is a tripped planer so this end right here in my left hand is where we are going to form our loop. So I will just simply hold it there and I will come and feed the open end of the bridle through there. And we just hold it and make sure that our loop is going to end up in the trip position. Otherwise we can adjust it. So we keep going here and as you can see, it's gotten a little long. So I will move it down a little bit and pull the tag end to make it tighter there. And this is how we adjust it real quick just to make sure that it's going to trip the planer properly. And probably right about there, that's a nice trip planer. Okay, so now that we've got that set in place, we will simply secure the crimp. Now we will get our second crimp feed it onto our tag feed it up right up butt it up against your first crimp again and there we go now they're both secured all right so now the next thing we'll want to do is we're going to want to take our little cutting tool and we are going to want to trim off our tag as close to the crimps as we can and that's done now there we go moment of truth really just hook your bridle back onto your quick release planer and there you go this is in trolling position a fish strikes you're good to go that planer will trip your bridle is now the proper length so this is all great now we have a quick release planer and a bridle that is the right length Perfect. Now, the question becomes, okay, how do we hook this onto our main line and how do we hook it onto our leader? So we're gonna show that right now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hook our main line, which is 80 pound braid, onto our bridle. We're gonna start out making our Palomar knot with a loop. And we're going to put it through one end of our bridle. Very simple. And we are going to take it and we are going to make an overhand knot. One overhand knot is a single Palomar knot. Put it through again. And that is a double Palomar knot. So that's where we're at right now with our Palomar knot. Now we have this loop. We are going to take the one open end of the bridle, slip it all the way through, and we are going to pull the entire bridle through. Then we will take the loop and we will put it on top of our initial knot and we will start fastening it down all right and there you go that's how you tie a palomar knot straight on to your leader that ain't going nowhere you want to use a palomar knot because a palomar knot will not slip now this is where that sharp knife comes in we're going to cut off the tag of our main line Nice, smooth, very small knot that can go through our guides. Now we have attached our bridle to our main line. And now it's time to hook the business end of our bridle onto our 100 foot leader. So again, I have 60 pound monofilament leader, two crimps, 
is all we'll need for this setup. We're going to slip a crimp onto the mainline end of our leader. We will feed it through that loop of our bridle. Feed that back through and we will pull it down. Now, you don't want to make them so tight that there's no freedom, but you don't need to make a very giant loop. You can make something right about like that. Make your loops about the same. Then we will take the smallest setting, which is set for 60 pound crimp on our crimping tool. And we'll squeeze it closed. Make sure it's in the right spot. Good to go. Give it a tug, make sure it's not gonna slip. We're golden. And now what we'll do is we'll take and find the business end of our leader. And we wanna put a swivel, that way we can switch out uh, lures. So we have our crimp, we have our swivel. Simply slip your swivel on, pass your tag through your crimp, and fasten it shut. Give it a nice pull, make sure it's not gonna slip. You're done. And there you have it. Your bridle is now fastened to your main line, fastened to your leader, and you have ready for lure at the end of your leader. Here's my bridle, and I just want you to see, there's the bridle, and it just slips straight on through. And it will go seamlessly through the guides all the way onto the reel. And then I just keep reeling, and like I said, at this point, I just wind on all 100 feet of my leader until I'm down to my swivel and I'm pretty much done with this process. So this is a great setup for planer trolling, especially if you get, you know, mondo fish like wahoo or bigger kingfish or something, you know, it's it's, it's a little less, uh, you know, risky than over the uh, hand lining in original, you know, sort of old school original planer trolling stuff. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned about what I consider to be the easiest way to make a quick release planer and bridle system that doesn't require inline heavy swivels. Till next time, South Florida Saltwater Fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.